trading day. Well, just how financially savvy are Australians and how much does it matter? Well, George Lucas, co-founder of the Wealth Know How website, joins me now live in the studio to discuss the need for increased financial literacy. George, thanks so much for joining thanks me in the studio. Why is there this need to spread financial literacy via new media? Oh, via new media, because um, in the 90s, we, obviously the retirement system changed and we became a lot more responsible. But also in the 90s, we used to look, you know, we used to rely much more on, um, you know, do, calling up our broker or our advisor, and so we get a lot of financial literacy from that. But since then, you know, the whole world's begun moving towards internet, so we've seen more and more, you know, internet-based brokers and inter internet-based systems for, you know, insurance, etc. And so people are bypassing their advisors, which used to be the traditional way of getting financial advice. Yeah, but how's the way the government's changed the retirement saving system played into the need for, for this? Oh, well, you know, before the 90s, everyone had a defined um, benefit system, or most people had defined benefit systems where the um, retirement was based on your mm -hmm. final salary. And then in the 90s, the government changed that towards you becoming more responsible for your savings. Mm -hmm. And so not, but they didn't really change the literacy at the time. So they didn't really explain to you what that actually meant, you being responsible. And so, um, you know, initially the products around that were quite, you know, um, unique, you know, just industry super funds, etc. But also since the 90s, we've seen an explosion of products available for people to invest in for their retirement savings. It's also tough to put all the responsibility on, on the individual when there's an ageing population and more and more people needing these retirement savings. It is tough, but that's what the system did. When they changed to the, um, you know, a defined contribution system, that's what it did. It put it, the responsibility onto you to retire for your state, um, you know, re be responsible for your retirement savings. They still have the safety net there with the pension, but it, you know the responsibility does lie with you. That's just the way the system changed. Because the government originally changed responsibilities for retirement savings, but didn't quite change or increase the, the financial literacy curriculum. So how have they done that now? Oh yeah, well they've, they've um, have a lot more approaches to it now. So we're seeing an increase in websites coming out um, from ASIC. ASIC's got Money Smart. We've seen the ATO start doing a lot of education around self-managed super funds as we're seeing the explosion in self-managed super funds. And then also we've got the um, fin Financial Literacy Foundation, which is putting a lot of money into like schools, etc., to um, improve the financial literacy. And you know, where before you know, just understanding compound interest and how to cross check used to be what you needed to know. You need to know a lot more. But are there a lot of options available. You know, defensive growth balance, depending on what stage of life you're at. Oh yeah, well that's a, that's all about um, understanding um, super. And most people would, I would think, wouldn't understand that. You know where before you might have just put your money into an industry super fund. Now even those industry super funds will have various options about defensive or growth or balanced and you know that type of information needs to get out there and what the differences are and what the risks people are taking by going into those products. And what was FOFA trying to do and, and why hasn't it quite played out how, how that hoped? Yeah, well f the, one, the, obviously one of the original aims for FOFA is um, to make advice more affordable. And the reason they wanted to make advice more affordable is even ASIC's own research has shown that advice is, a, um, you know, is valuable to people. But um, a lot of the, that message has been lost in a, a lot of the arguments that have gone around about FOFA and how people get paid and whatever. But the, really the idea of FOFA was, you know, well I thought the idea of FOFA was really to get it more affordable to people because talking to an advisor is a great way of, um, you know, improving your financial literacy. I guess one of the issues with the internet and having uh, new media is, is all this advice coming out and often the advice is sort of biased but covered, you know, trying to kind of spruik a product of some sort. How do you tell the difference? How do you know? you know, that you're getting a good deal? Well, there, obviously that's one of the reasons we set up Wealth Know How, so it was a very generic um, advice platform where it wasn't really product flogging, but a lot of the advice is um, provided by the product issuers or from the financial service issuers. Um, you know, it's just, and we know that a lot of people um, from research are going to the internet first to, um, to understand their, um, their options. But at the end of the day, you're going to need a good advisor once you've got all this information to help you and after you've done all your research on the internet to try and work out where you want to go. It's obviously a big issue, as I mentioned, with the ageing population. So what more can the government or is the government doing? Well, as I said before, they're improving their um, financial education literacy, both at the um, primary, you know, at the school level, but also by providing a lot more information on the internet. But there's also a lot more education, and they've got to clear up the messages that get, they're getting out there about FOFA, and they've got to clear up the messages about, about um, investing, and that you know, investing is a complicated um, thing to do. It's not, it's not simple. It's not child's play, mm -hmm. and understanding all the various products out there is, is, is quite a difficult thing to do. 
and therefore you need to get advice to um, help you get through that. So what do you tell people who don't really know much about this and, and sort of need to get more information? Uh, well, you know, obviously go to the internet, they can have a look at our website, they can also have a look at the ASIC websites and the um, ATO websites about the, you know, the various um, issues associated with retirement saving. Alright, George Lucas, co-founder of The Wealth Know How.